There was some other news going on here in San Antonio. Now for the first time, we're going to get an inside look at the aftermath of that hit and run crash from Sunday night, a crash that may have involved San Antonio City Councilman Clayton Perry. We broke that story last night at 10. The sources confirmed Perry was the subject of a redacted report that case had obtained, though he has not yet been charged. Now Garrett Berger brings us the exclusive video of the crash site, plus what Mayor Ron Nuremberg is calling for Perry to do tonight. It happened here at the intersection of Jones Maltzberger Road and Redland Road. According to the police incident report, a black Jeep Wrangler traveling this way turned right but took the turn too wide and hit a car head on that was waiting for the light in the left hand turn lane over on Redland. The other driver says the Jeep, which police believe was driven by District 10 Councilman Clayton Perry, left the scene, leaving behind a car with major damage. A person who passed the crash scene shortly after it happened sent us this video showing the smashed up front end of the other car. A witness reportedly followed the Jeep and saw where it stopped. When a San Antonio police officer checked the location, he found the Jeep still running and parked where it had hit the garage. According to the officer's report, he also found Perry lying in the backyard with an injury to his head and smelling of alcohol. But Perry said he wasn't driving his vehicle that night. And the officer, seemingly unable to confirm Perry had been the driver, left without testing his sobriety or arresting him. The witness's description of the person they'd seen, though, appeared to later help police decide Perry was believed to have been involved in a crash. Mayor Ron Nuremberg said this morning in a statement, quote, if the details in the police report regarding Sunday night are accurate, Councilman Perry should resign. We attempted to reach Perry at his home a half mile from the crash scene, but had no luck. Dylan's card from yesterday, too. Just as we had not on Monday. His chief of staff texted us and they had no comment. City Council meets Wednesday afternoon. It's not clear if Perry will be there. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.